queen of the castle. Oh, Elaine. Oh. Please welcome Brian Cranston. Seinfeld. Ah! What a groundbreaking show. And while the show achieved tremendous success, its two biggest stars had to break out from being typecast. Let's take a look at Seinfeld's two biggest stars at the height of the series' success from this archival photo. There they are. <laughs> the two biggest stars. Watley! <laughs> this night belongs to Julia and me. <laughs> it is uncanny how the two of us have so much in common that we both chose the same path to our way to break the mold, to reinvent ourselves, to, to be seen not just as, as two people who enabled Jerry Seinfeld to buy 53 Porsches. <laughs> Julie and I needed to be seen as actors with range. And by coincidence, we both developed very similar, deeply complex characters. There was the nice person turned bad, who was an out of control, ruthless, unlikable psychopath, as depicted in Julia's character, Selena Meyer, on Veep. <laughs> and I went on to play the brilliantly diabolical but insanely good looking leading man, Walter White, on Breaking Bad. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it was obvious to me that Julia carefully studied my success on Breaking Bad and decided to channel that for her derivative, Selena Meyer. <laughs> I am actually fine with, with Julia channeling her character because in her mind, we're very close. <laughs> we're like cousins. We're like, we're like kissing cousins. Or maybe just the kissing part. It was, shall we say, awkward? <laughs> Brad Hall called me later, not to warn me to stop kissing his wife, but to ask for instructions about how to be a better kisser. <laughs> I hope I helped. And given how much we share, people are saying, it is only right that we share this award too. <laughs> now, I would not say that, but she would. Please welcome the co-winner of the 2018 Mark Twain Prize, Brian Cranston. Oh my God, I can't believe this. My goodness, I really don't know what to say. I didn't see this coming, but just in case, I wrote a little, a little thing. Actually, I don't, I don't need a prop to tell you what I think of Julia. I just think you're the cat's meow. I do. I think you're the loveliest person who also happens to be immensely gifted. Your sharp, comedic, and often cutting wit belies the grace and dignity that lies beneath as a testament to your life's foundation. I'm glad I was here to be able to contribute what little I could tonight so that we can honor a very honorable person. I love you and congratulations.